Nor or 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 VPN. Sure, you could see the new Sonic movie, or you could watch Frederick Knudsen, Emperor Lemon, Cynical Reviews, Chavez Slovakia, Theft Nine, Seth Tzintak, Jesus, and music by Too Mad. In Dark Doom Firemaster's epic fan fiction, Sonic High School. Chapter One. Sonic woke up and looked at the clock. Seven o'clock, it said. And Sonic screamed. Whoa! I am late for school! I have to get to school now! Said Sonic, jumping out of bed. Sonic put on his clothes really fast and ran out of his room because he is fast. No time for breakfast! Said Sonic as he ran past Sonic's mum. You will regret this, said Sonic's mum, leering at him from the kitchen stove, wearing aprons and oven mitts on her hands. Sonic did not care. He was late. Sonic ran outside and ran to the bus stop, where people were getting on the bus. Amazingly. Tails! Knuckles! Wait for me! Said Sonic as he ran towards the bus. Hey, Knuckles, it's Sonic said Tails to Knuckles at the bus stop. He is late, said Knuckles to Tails before getting on the bus. Sonic ran so fast to the bus, and he got on the bus after Tails. Just in time, said Sonic, huffing and puffing like he was doing the Cupid shuffle for the first time. Sonic sat down next to Tails, and Knuckles sat behind them, taking up both seats. (laughs) I am so bad. (laughs) said Knuckles, laughing because he sat where two people could sit. Knuckles did this every day, and no one bothered him. But they all knew that it was against the rules. The bus started, and drove at the school, and parked, and they got out. (laughs) We're at school now, said Tails. It is time to go to class. Sonic was also at the school, so he went to his first class of the day. English class. Sonic did not like English very much, but he did not like any class very much that was not about running and going fast, which is what Sonic does best. Sonic got to his class and sat down in his seat. It is journal day, said Sonic's English teacher, Mrs. Lesson. Take out your journals and put them in a pile and I will read one of your entries to the class. Sonic took out his blue journal, of course it was blue and ran out in front of everyone quickly and put his journal on the desk and ran back to his desk all with his head down and not talking or looking at anyone. Sonic was so fast that he did it first. Wow! Everyone else did it afterwards and slower. Mrs. Lesson grabbed a journal from the pile and Sonic knew it was his because it looked like Sonic's journal. Sonic knew this because he had written in it so many times it was crazy. Mrs. Lesson opened up a totally random page, and it was the worst one she could have picked. (gasps) She began to read. Dear Journal, I called the doctor today about a problem. I have a problem with my balls. They are itchy, and it is difficult to sit still with them because they are so itchy. I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub up and down on them to relieve the itchiness. No creams have worked. Creams only make my ball sweat smell like the breath of a thoroughbred. And I think Amy, my girlfriend, noticed. I hope my doctor calls. Love, Sonic. Whoa, no, stop reading, said Sonic. But he reacted too late because it was already read. All of it. Everyone in the class laughed and Sonic felt like an idiot asshole because now everyone knew all about his ball problems. Sonic felt his rage build up inside of him like a pool of lava in a volcano. Stop laughing at me. Don't tell anyone, shouted Sonic. But everyone was laughing so loud that they did not hear him, and Sonic was just so embarrassed and mad and sad, but more embarrassed, so he ran out of the class fast. Of course he did. Sonic ran to his locker and opened it and screamed into it. He screamed, This sucks! And other curse words too. Shoot! 
What is the problem? Said Tails. Are you mad? Said Tails. Sonic was mad, so he nodded. You should tell everyone that it is okay to have problems with your balls. And that they probably have problems that they do not want everyone to know about too. So stop laughing at me. Sonic thought Tails was right, because Tails was smart. Knuckles was there too, so he said, Sonic, what's wrong with your penis and balls? Ah, oh, no! Sonic was so mad again, so he punched Knuckles, and then he ran away. Where Sonic ran to was his next class. It is now second period, so it was okay. Hey, Amy! Said Sonic. Check me out! And Sonic did a dance move. Wow, cool. Let's kiss, said Amy, and Sonic and Amy kissed right there in the class, and some of the other people in the class watched, but the teacher wasn't there yet, so they didn't get in trouble, and who's going to tell Sonic that he can't kiss his girl in class? Sonic kissed back really hard, and it was sexy to everyone. The teacher arrived, and they did class, but Sonic just looked at Amy the whole time, who was sitting next to Rouge. <laughs> Amy and Rouge talked, and they looked at Sonic sometimes and laughed, and Sonic thought Amy was telling her about how awesome Sonic kissed her, but it was not. Rouge was telling Amy about Sonic's gay ball problems, and, <laughs> and Amy was Sonic's girlfriend, but she thought it was the funniest thing ever. Oh no! Class ended and Sonic went to Amy quick and did not stop on the way. Hey Amy! Why don't you go telling Rouge about how hard we kiss, colon, close parenthesis? Said Sonic with a smile on his face that meant that he did not care that Amy did this, but really wanted her to, because it made him look cooler. Actually, Rouge was telling me about the problems with your balls and penis and bottle that everyone found out about in your English class. Wow, was Sonic surprised. He did not know what to say. End of chapter one. Chapter two. This is, this is sad, man. This is sad. The rest of the day for Sonic was awful. So bad it was that Sonic went home and went right to the bathroom and took a big poop. It was a mad poop because it went out <laughs> fast. It shooted out of his butthole so fast that it was like a gun shooting. His poop stung so much that it that even the neighbors could what is that? that the neighbors could even smell it and they had a meeting at night about what to do about it and they decided that they would just put fans on outside and if it really started to smell again, they would do something else. So Sonic pooped and went up to his room and shouted into his pillow. I hate everything! Sonic shouted loud, and he heard a knock at the door. What's wrong, Sonic? asked Sonic's mum. Nothing said Sonic, said Sonic. Okay, just keep it down because I'm trying to watch the TV, said Sonic's mum to Sonic, and left without saying anything else. Sonic was in his room still. So he looked out of the window and saw Tails flying there with his flying tails. Sonic, are you okay? Asked Tails. I was worried about you, Sonic. Sonic was less mad because Tails was always nice and smart and didn't care that Sonic left his pawns around his room so he could think about kissing and doing sex on Amy. Please be happy, said Tails. Are you there? Sonic went to the window and opened the window. Sonic grabbed Tails and put him on the bed, because Sonic is strong too. This day was the worst, said Sonic. Everyone thinks I am a gay loser, all because I gave them my journal. Sonic cried a little, and Tails put his hand under his face to catch the tears. Tears can stain the carpet, but by the way. Tails hugged Sonic and said, I am always here for you. The promise tonight, also. Wow! I forgot! Said Sonic. Sonic ran to his closet fast and pulled out his prom uniform. It's a tuxedo. And put it on fast. Is our limo here yet, Tails? 
said Sonic while looking at Tails. Yes! Said Tails right back. Let's go! And Sonic went outside with Tails, who was also in prom clothing, and they went outside and got in the limo. The limo is broken, said the limo driver, who looked like a... Well, jeez, okay, I'm changing that. I... Sonic and Tails got out of the limo and asked the limo driver if they could fix it. Nope. The limo is broken eternally, said the limo driver. Wait, how did he get here? So Sonic grabbed Tails' hand and said, let's go, and ran all the way to the prom, which was on an island called Ghost Island. This place is scary, said Tails. Ghost Island was really scary. It was shaped like a skull, and everything looked like it was dead. Sonic looked at Tails. Yeah, it is, said Sonic. Why would they put the prom on this island, said Tails. I don't see anyone else from the school here. Tails and Sonic were both worried about it all. Sonic and Tails walked forward, and there was a haunted house. Sonic and Tails went into the haunted house, and it was spooky. Sonic saw a ghost, and Tails saw a mummy. There was a man laughing too. (laughs) <laughs> Sonic and Tails, now you are both here and fallen right into my trap, said the man laughing. It was Eggman. Eggman, why you're here? Asked uh, Sonic and shouted at Eggman. Are you here for the Chaos Emeralds? Sonic shook his fist at Eggman and Tails ran at him. But what an idiot he was because a cage fell down on top of the sky and trapped Tails. When You are doomed now, said Eggman. Welcome to the graveyard of you. Sonic was shocked, but did not run forward because he did not want to get caught too. But what if Eggman did not have another cage? Sonic did not know, so he went to the side into a different room. This room was smaller and had carpets and wallpaper. It was still scary though. Sonic said, I need to find a way out. And to save Tails! Eggman laughed and pointed at Sonic. I kissed Amy, and now you can never date her again, because I am going to do sex to her tonight. (gasps) No! This cannot be real! Said Sonic. Sonic knew that he had to do something. But what? Ad time. We now pronounce you. Ideal Candidate 420, President of the United States of America. Wait! Wait! What is this? Hold the inauguration. I have right here the President-elect's internet search history. (gasps) Give it here. Wow, this is bad. I hereby declare you not the President, and instead sentence you to live on Virgin (laughs) Island. Now your opponent loves to smoke crack 666 will be in charge. Oh no, what have I done? Is this the future you really want? If only he had used NordVPN. NordVPN keeps your web traffic safe. Unless you view region-locked content. Look at all these channels. Wow, now I don't have to go to the theater. Oi, oi, stop that. But internet historian, I am but a humble gamer. I cannot afford a VPN that has unlimited bandwidth and works in such places as China. That's where you're wrong. Go to nordvpn.com slash internethistorian and use the code internethistorian to get 75% off. Plus a free month when you use code internethistorian. Okay, I'm convinced. Wow, it worked. And now I'm the president. Also, it made me 75% more attractive and my parents are no longer getting a divorce. God bless NordVPN.com slash Internet Historian. Add over. Chapter 3. Sonic ran the fastest right to Dr. Eggman, right through his traps, and jumped at the floating platform that Eggman was standing on. I'm coming for you! Said Sonic, and he jumped up, up, right to the platform and got so close, but fell because it was just too high to reach, even for Sonic. Sonic said, damn and ran up the staircase that was in the middle of the big room that were under Eggman. Sonic ran to the top, and at the top he jumped again from a higher spot, and this time reached the platform because it was easier to get to. Now you are mine, shouted Sonic right into Eggman's ear. 
I am not going to fall this easily, said Eggman, who then grabbed a crystal remote control out of his pocket and pressed a button on it that made a dome of lasers around Eggman. Get out of here, yelled Eggman. I am Eggman, and I will have my way with the treasures of this island, said Eggman. Eggman flew up higher on his platform, and Sonic had already fell from the lasers that were on the floating platform. So Sonic didn't get to go too. Eggman disappeared into a purple and black portal at the top of the ceiling, and Sonic was left at the bottom of the room on the middle of the stairs. Amy still has to be here somewhere, and I need to get Tails out of that locked cage, said Sonic, thinking about what he should do next. Sonic ran up the stairs really fast and down the hallway at the top of the stairs on the second floor. Sonic picked a door and ran into the door. The room Sonic ran into had a big picture of an old man on it, and he looked just so old that it looked like seeing a skeleton right there. Sonic said, This man probably died ages ago and left all his money from being in real estate to his sons who built this place. Sonic thought this was not the right room to be in, so he left it and went into the next room. This was the right room to be in, Sonic knew immediately. There was a big red bed, and Amy was tied with rope around her feet and hands, and there was another rope around her head with a lock in her mouth, so she couldn't open it or say anything at all. Sonic ran right to the bed and untied Amy with his sonic speed. I'm so glad you're here, said Amy. This prom is not turning out like I hoped it would when I bought this dress. Amy was wearing a pretty red dress that was like what she normally wears, but longer. And there were two flowers on the shoulders. Amy's dress also made her boots look bigger, Sonic noticed. Sonic thought for a moment that this was the perfect moment to guess her to give sex to him. But he did not do it because Tails still needed help. Where is the key to open Tails' cage? said Sonic to Amy. We need to open Tails' cage. He can't get out the cage. I saw Eggman putting a key in a safe behind the picture in the room you were just in, said Amy. So let's go get it. Amy and Sonic ran into the next room and Sonic got there first, of course he did. Sonic punched his big, strong hand right yeah. into the painting like a bodybuilder and found the safe behind the painting. This safe needs a password, said Sonic. What could it be? Sonic thought long and hard about everything he knew about Eggman. Sonic knew Eggman was a gay asshole who always ruined Sonic's plans to be a hero. And now he ruins Sonic's prom. Sonic tapped on his brain and thought harder. Maybe the password is his name, said Amy. It was not, and Sonic knew that before Sonic put it into the lock. <laughs> I love her for her body, thought Sonic. Sonic thought harder and had an idea. What if the password is S-A-O-H-C-S-D-L-A-R-E-M-E? Finally shouted Sonic at Amy next to him. Ah! <laughs> Amy, who was there, said, What does that mean? Amy, Sonic's girlfriend, just to clarify, was confused. It is Chaos Emeralds backwards, but he really wants but messed up so we would not guess it! Screamed Sonic so happy. Ah! Sonic typed the password into the safe, and would you know it, it popped open and there was this big key. So Sonic took it. Sonic ran down the stairs, and then Amy did, and Sonic opened Tails' cage and Tails got out. I am so glad to be safe once again. Thanks to you, Sonic. The day is saved. Tails was smiling bigger than a crocodile having a silly dream. But Sonic was not. Oh. What is wrong, Sonic? Everything is right now! Said Sonic. No, it isn't. Said Sonic, so mad and sad. Eggman got away without a real punishment for what he did. Sonic shook his face at the sky thinking about how Eggman slipped away like a slippery balloon that Sonic let go of. But we are all safe, Amy said. That is what really matters. Sonic figured out right then that Amy's superpower must have been being nice. Because like he knew before, it wasn't being smart, which Tails was best at. And Sonic is also good at too. But Sonic did not think about how his day at school was bad anymore. 
because his balls did not even really itch anymore. Sonic laughed, Tails laughed, Amy laughed, and they went home ready for the next day of high school. What he can do! Sonic the Hedgehog! Sonic, he can really move! Sonic, he's got an attitude! Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive! He's the fastest thing alive! He's the fastest thing alive!